Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Thank you and let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. So let's start with love. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio and love. All right, so you get two cards coming out, the Six of Cups and the four of pentacles so somebody may be stagnating in a relationship making it uh maybe friends with benefits or just friends all together like someone's saying look let's just be friends um someone's not giving or letting the relationship grow beyond you know friends they're not letting the relationship grow beyond um i don't know this would be somebody also is looking at someone that they grew up with or that they have kids with as theirs they're always going to be theirs they're looking at this person as a possession they want to own them they're going to have access to them they want to be able to um, come and go as they please there also could be someone holding a grudge here in terms of the person that they have children with um yeah grudges held there could be even someone acting miserly not giving enough money for the children or or holding on to their money withholding because um they know that it it messes with the other uh the other parent or it messes up their money something of that nature um there could be a brother and sister arguing maybe about real estate because the four of pentacles talks about real estate and somebody holding on to something here okay not giving it up it's a possession it's theirs um someone won't just release it they won't let it go um Somebody's got some clarity about who this person really was with all that yellow there, what they meant to them, that this was a high level soulmate, or they also could be reminiscing about the fun times, the good times, the nostalgia of, uh, of being maybe apart from somebody with the six of cups there, somebody that you grew up with. Now, if you didn't grow up with them, they didn't grow up in your neighborhood. Maybe you got together early on in life, early twenties, late teens, and you grew up together. Cause you know, at that time you're still learning, you're still growing. Um, and now the relationship is no more. Somebody's looking at somebody like a real good Samaritan, like they have a really good heart. To the core of them, they're a good person. And maybe that's why they're holding on to them for dear life. And just know that they're not gonna find anyone like that ever again. Somebody also, again, wants no progression in a relationship. You know, it's, it's it could be that it's stuck, it's toxic, it's stagnant. Somebody is um, domineering. They want their will to be exerted on the other person. They're not willing to um, compromise. They're not even willing to compromise, but they're also not willing to give anything here. You know, it's my way or the highway. Yeah, there could be very little communication between you and your person. And, and when you do talk, it's, it's, you know, it's trying to refrain from arguing with the person or getting back into yeah, the, the cyclical argument, the arguing without uh, mediation or not trying to push anybody's buttons to where somebody is rude, crass, says anything. So it's like, it, it's very little communication. Somebody's like, I just don't want to take it to an ugly place. So let's just communicate very lightly. Hi, how are you? Okay, good. You know, and, and kind of moving the situation along. Let's see what's going on for career and finance with my Scorpios. Career, finance with Scorpio. Could be dealing with an Aquarius also in love. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, it looks like, what is that? Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. All right, in career and finance, we have the High Priestess. Very nice. So some of you could do some type of work where you keep track, you keep record of, uh, maybe you have... Um, an accounting degree or, or something of that nature. You do bookkeeping work or you work from home, page of wands. It looks like you have some secret plans of moving forward, of expanding, of exploration with the um, the page of wands coming out. Yeah, that is the page of wands. Um, you also could be getting good news that allows you to kind of do your work how you want to do it. Again, you know, working from home, good news of maybe a promotion, uh, the start of a new business venture where you can take action, maybe go get some paperwork filed. Um, but it's, it's an action card. The wands are. So it's like you get that news and then you move on something. You make a move, you know, you explore, you start to yeah, make a move here. It's like you were stagnated or you were stuck or you were waiting for something. You were waiting for some negotiation to happen, maybe in your career and finance. You might have to move after this judgment is rendered. There's no compromise. 
yeah. Uh, you may be going up to get a child support alimony or something like that adjusted or readjusted or just to get the order in so that you can actually um some of you is going to get news that the, you know you won the case or, or whatnot and you're you're going to then have talks of money negotiation about money or get the offer of how much um either you have to pay or the other person has to pay somebody has more than one child and it looks like it's more it's with more than one person so someone has taken something to court or to the courts or to some um some large entity corporation where, where somebody can um kind of be the mediator the guide give some law in order to how money is dispersed this is what i have for you scorpio if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section um, you can also go over to the website book there book a whole reading or you could catch me live tonight tuesday thursday or sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time come for the collective reading and you can even ask questions thank you scorpio many blessings to you oh forget about the new moon jar all right so today is the new moon um we have the new moon money jar you can contribute any amount of money to the jar and this is just to usher in bring in more abundance in your life uh, maybe even to, uh, again, usher in those wishes, manifestations that you have for your career and your finance, okay? A new moon prayer will be held tonight um, and for the next three nights, and we're going to manifest abundance corporately, okay? So thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take advantage of that if that's something you would like to do. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon.